Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can configure the SMTP plugin on your WordPress website. To do that, let's first log in to the WordPress dashboard. We are already logged in. Now, let's first add the SMTP plugin. For that, go to Plugins at New and search for an SMTP plugin. This is the one. Install now and activate the plugin. So the plugin has been activated. Let me clear cache too. You might see a different screen when you first install it. Anyway, you can skip that. Now click here on WP Mail SMTP plugin. We are using the free version. Here, let's use the other SMTP. Now we need to find the SMTP host. All this information will be provided by your hosting. For instance, I am using Namecheek. Namecheek sends this email with all the details. Here are the outgoing and incoming server details. Let me copy it. Encryption is 465 court. So choose SSL. Now we need to write the email address here and add the password. This is done. Now save settings. Also make sure that this email is from the same domain. If you use Gmail, then you will have to choose a different configuration. Anyway, now let's test if this works or not. Go to Tools and send the test email. I will use this email, but you can choose Gmail or any emails. Now there was a problem sending the test email. Let's check the error log. So there is an SMTP error. This means it cannot connect to the server. For some reason, this server does not work. Let me go back to the settings and I will change with the new host. This information was provided by Namechi. If this does not work, please ask your host along with the encryption information. Let's save the settings. Let's test the email. Send email. So the email was successfully sent. Let's refresh this. You can see this email was successfully sent. This means we have made the correct configurations. So we are receiving the email from this ID. We can change this on settings. Change the email, but with the same domain. Save settings and let's send a test email. This is successful. Refresh the email. Now the email has been sent from a different ID. So you can change this on the settings. Also make sure to ask these settings to your host. We hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.